Pokemon has been around for decades, with fans of all ages, all across the globe. I'm one of them, and I've been playing these Pokemon games since 2007. And while I don't have enough pictures of Tiny Catherine's Pokemon obsession, I do have a drawing that I made in spring of 2009. Terrifying, I know. This was my dream team. A male Pikachu, Squirtle, and Wartortle, and two female Espeons, which, according to my handwriting from when I was eight years old, I used to pronounce Espeon. Today, I'm going to shiny hunt for this dream team. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room. Not literally. Squirtle is not in Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet. That being said, neither is Wartortle. That leaves us with three targets. Two shiny female Espeons and one shiny male Pikachu. P with Espeon's gender ratio being mostly male, this will at least be a bit of a challenge. Not the same as a tiny shiny Sylveon or anything, but I'll take it. Introducing our non-shiny shiny hunting team. My heroic Gallade that actually saved us from failing two shinies in the span of a minute. Instead, we only failed one. You're lucky to be alive, Fanpy. And we also have my King Gambit. Gallade is mainly used for full swipe, while King Gambit is used for defeating Pokemon in mass outbreaks. My King Gambit does not have full swipe. This will be important later. I promise. Oh man, do I love online shopping and entering all my personal information while using public Wi-Fi at my local... building. You shouldn't do that. Why not? Someone could steal your personal information! Ha! Huh, not if I have NordVPN. NordVPN encrypts your online traffic so hackers can't steal your personal info. Not only that, it protects you from malware and notifies you if any of your passwords or other personal info are leaked on the dark web. Spooky, I know. Using the link nordvpn.com slash shinycatherine also gets you an exclusive deal. Plus, signing up is risk-free with their 30-day money-back guarantee. But there's even more. NordVPN is celebrating their 11th birthday with a very special deal on their two-year plans. So get NordVPN today using the link nordvpn.com slash shinycatherine. And now you can browse the web knowing that your devices and personal info are safe. Thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video and thank you for checking out NordVPN. Now back to the video. Glaciado's Grasp. The edge of a snowy landscape. Walking off the cliff's edge brings you to a big tree that I would definitely sit under during my 104 days of summer vacation. At night, you'll find Persian. But during the day, you'll find Persian. And Espeon, that too. <laughs> Espeon is the only Psychic type to spawn in this area, which means that a level 3 Psychic encounter power will leave you with a lot of Espeons and only Espeons, perfect for some quick shiny hunts. But Espeon only spawns during the day, so keep that in mind. It should also be mentioned that the ability Cute Charm has no effect on gender spawn rates in these games. Espeon will always have a 1 in 8 chance of being female. Combine that with the 1 in 683 shiny odds I'm hunting with, and the odds of finding a shiny female Espeon are 1 in 5,464. Above normal shiny odds, but not bad. Though, again, we need two of them. We're probably gonna be here a while. <laughs> and man, sitting in the same spot just makes me feel hungry. Chef Catherine, it is me, I am the chef. I cook a delicious sandwich. Look at it, it's so delicious. It has onion, two salty herba mystica, and that is it. Who would eat this? Apparently Espeon. They're everywhere. We just gotta let all of them spawn in. That is a tiny heckin' Espeon. Now all we gotta do is roam around, letting these Espeon spawn and despawn. Ooh. 
Let's go. It's female. Oh my gosh, what? That's the first one we found. Quick ball in it. <laughs> no way. Dude, what the heck? One down, one to go. That was... Huh. Nice. Let's go. So there's our first shiny Espeon. And it's a female. I named her Leaf because Fire Red was my first Pokemon game. And the counterpart, you'll never guess, is Leaf Green. Now we still had plenty of time left with this sandwich, so we continued searching for shinies. And not too long after Leaf was caught, this happened. Ooh. Let's go! What? Are you serious? Dude. Huh? That's two shiny female espions. Dude, I'm just confused. It doesn't have like a different gender ratio, right? It's so cute though. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh. Hi there. Hello. Wow, this one is stubborn. <laughs> just get in the ball. Look, catch. Dang it! How could you? It is very stubborn. I never had this much difficulty with the Sylveons, and I caught 90 of them. We're gonna run out of Dusk Balls. Look, we have two left. Thank you. Let's heckin' go! <laughs> Alrighty, I was not expecting that to happen in the slightest. <laughs> I kind of expected more of a challenge, but my luck is insane today. I named our second shiny Espeon Frog. I don't have a reason for it. Her name is Frog, and you will respect her. These two Espeons are the exact same size, but Leaf is an adamant nature, and Frog is a gentle nature. Now let's go find our next target, a shiny male Pikachu. The area surrounding Larry Town, or Medali, but come on, it's Larry Town, has plenty of cool Pokemon. But most importantly, one Pokemon that can spawn there is Pikachu. So with an electric type encounter and sparkling power sandwich, we'll have no problem finding a shiny one. No, you're, you no. Know, too much of you, you're going in timeout. Though I may have underestimated the variety of electric types here. So they're all over in this space, but then there's also electrodes, so... The possibility of having different phases for this is very likely. Voltorb, Electrode, Dedene, and even Jolteon spawn around here. Oh, hi there! Which makes the possibility of finding multiple non-target shinies very, very likely. That's not gonna stop me, though. So I wandered around the forest, all day and night, until... it happened. Ooh! Is it male? I think it is. No, it isn't! <laughs> Dang it! Well, that's phase one! Let's heck and go! That camera angle was evil. <laughs> I genuinely thought it was a male shiny Pikachu, but no, of course not. I'm still happy with this though. She's my first shiny Pikachu on this game. I named her Yellow, simply because Yellow was my favorite character from the Pokemon manga when I was little. We still had some time left with this electric sandwich, so I kept looking for Pikachu. And then, I almost lost it. 
Going into a town despawns any wild Pokémon, but if you're lucky enough and fast enough, you can get back into the wild before the Pokémon despawns. I never had this luck with my previous hunts, but Lucky Bidoof must be on my side today. You're normal, right? No, you're not. <laughs> it's another female one. <laughs> Phase two. This game really said women. I see how it is. I mean, a shiny is a shiny, so obviously I'm happy with this. And this Pikachu's name is Table. I refuse to elaborate. I stopped hunting for the day because honestly, the high likelihood of another shiny not being our target was kinda discouraging. And then the next day, there was a Pikachu outbreak! So, it was finally King Gambit's time to shine, and I switched him to the front of my party. Remember this. Ooh! Please be male. Yes! Let's go! Let's go Pikachu for the Nintendo Switch. Anyway! <laughs> Let's go! We got the dream team. Or all of it that we can get in this game. So we got the dream team. Two shiny female Espeons and one shiny male Pikachu. And then the other Pikachus, those two. But while I was hunting for this Pikachu, another Pokemon caught my eye. Jolteon. I don't have a shiny one on here yet, and I'd love to have one. So we went back to our first Pikachu hunting spot, where a bunch of Jolteon can be found if you're using the electric encounter powers. We still had most of the sandwich power time left from hunting for the third Pikachu, so why not put it to good use? Ooh! Let's go! talking about this for years to come. I just know it. Listen, I've failed shinies on here before, but never a shiny that I didn't already have. Until now. Moments like these make me feel like a fake gamer. Because despite shiny hunting since 2013, I am still making rookie mistakes. This shiny fail hit hard. Take me back. I want a green Jolteon. I won't do it again. I won't be stupid. I will refrain from being stupid. At least for a little while. Because I can't promise perfection. Please. Oh, it's a fungus. That was very good. That was taking up the seconds. Oh! They forgave me! It's a female one! <laughs> what the heck? I didn't save. If it doesn't catch, I'm running and then saving. I'm saving. It's staying here. Come on! This Jolteon is so heckin' picky. Look, I'm getting a nice Pokeball, and you're just like, nah, nah. We're gonna be here forever. Timer ball, I guess. Oh, I caught it. <laughs> I wasn't looking. <laughs> Let's go.
Uh, hi there. Hello, a wild tree appeared. That was a pretty quick reclaim, honestly. And also, can I just say, what is our luck with shiny female evolutions? We got three! Anyways, this Jolteon's name is Lime. Oh, and the male Pikachu? His name is Puka Shell. But there's one last thing we need to do. The non-shiny shiny hunting team members need names. Gallade is named Dodge. Because what I didn't say in my last video is that this shiny Fanpy used takedown, but my Gallade dodged the attack so Fanpy didn't take any recoil damage. As for King Gambit... Yeah... You know what time it is! Pew, 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 pew. Thank you to all these amazing artists for the fan art. Beautiful, gorgeous. And thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing to join the party. And lastly, thank you so, so much for 80,000 subscribers. It's at 90,000 now, what the heck? It's absolutely amazing having such a wonderful group of whooper troopers. Anyways, thank you for watching and stay hydrated.